Welcome to our lecture, the resources page in our blog, Nexus Canada. The purpose of this lecture is basically explore our blog and show you some interesting tools that you can use as a potential immigrant to Canada, which you can benefit. So you go to the blog, Nexus Canada, the link is included in the lecture, and you can see tools in the right side bar of the blog. If you want to find out that you qualify for immigration programs, you can click here and fill out information to assess your possibilities of immigration to Canada. And one tool that I highly recommend in our blog is you have links to the online IELTS preparation for people interested in getting information about how to prepare the IELTS test. You also have information for WES when it comes to credential evaluation in Canada. And just click there and it will take you to the website. If you want information about SERPIC or IELTS, you also can check those options in the blog. But two tools that I really highly recommend are the popular posts, when you can check all the most popular posts in our blog, the Job Canada tool, in which you can just type the occupation you're interested in, for example, chemical engineer. And I just type the city, let's say Toronto, Toronto. And I gotta just do a search. Uh, what's gonna happen when you use this tool is it's gonna take you to the job market report from the job bank and tell you how many chemical engineers opportunities and job available are in the Toronto region. You can see all the information here, give you the tit job title and also the companies that are hiring and the sources, monster of job bank. So it's a good tool for a quick search you want to know about the wages, you can click in the tab for wages. So you have a better idea. Here you give you the information in the Toronto region. You can choose also at the provincial level, Ontario, or in whole Canada. You have also to, uh, the opportunity to check the outlook. How that uh, the prospect for the job title are in the coming years. And it tells you all the information about it and some local news about uh, the occupation. Again, it's a fair outlook. And also, if you want to know about the education and job requirements, you just can go here and it tell you the information for the Toronto region, for Ontario, or for Canada. Another tool that I like to use is Numbio. So when you go to Numbio, if we open Numbio in another tab, this tool will help you Compel cities. It's a very good tool if you want to compel city, the city of your country of origin and the city of destination in Canada. So you have a very idea of the several factors like cost of living, property prices, crime, healthcare, pollution, traffic, quality of life, and travel. Okay? For example, if I want to start with comparing the cost of living, and you have several choices in that tab. So let me use the first and most simple one. You can pick a city. Let's say I live in Madrid, Spain. I'm planning to immigrate to Canada, and I have information. I have all the information about Madrid here. That is provided by people that participate in the website and provide the, the data. And then I'm going to say, well, I want to move to Montreal, Canada. This website will give you is technically a comparison at the level of the cost of living between the two cities. So you have here restaurants, Montreal, Madrid, a meal, an expensive restaurant, an average price in Montreal, $15, will probably cost $18. You have the value in dollars and in euro, okay? And they always ask you if you need, you can provide more information. So they always have up to date information to compare cities. So they, you always have the choice. So meal for two people, meat range restaurant, three course, $60, 38.41 euro. In Madrid will be 70. So you can start comparing there. Domestic beer, for sure, very important information. When it costs in Montreal around six Canadian dollars, in Madrid you can get it for four dollars and thirty-seven cents. So it's a good deal in in Madrid. Imported beer, you can see the same. Coke, water, etc. You can compare different products uh, 
from rice, milk, local cheese, apples, bananas. And you can tell the difference. Something will be cheaper in Madrid, something will be more expensive in Madrid. So the idea is to give you an overview of the cost of living of these cities based on the information of people living in those cities. Okay? So you can check the utilities, the monthly utility that give you help you to prepare a budget when especially when you're planning to move to Canada. Take you about the sport and leisure, the, the child care, clothing and shoes, rent per month. If you want to buy an apartment, an idea of the prices, the average salary in Montreal and the average salary in Madrid, and the mortgage interest rate, etc. So he tell you the contributors here. He said that 436 people, but they contribute with the data for Montreal. While for Madrid, 344 people volunteer to give that information about the cost of living. So, very good tool. I highly suggest you use it. And I hope you enjoy these tools when you go to the blog. And please, it might make a difference when it comes to planning your immigration journey. Thank you very much.